and welcome to the Sit Rep Podcast. I'll be your host, uh, Marty, as you, you may well know. And joining us today is Dan. Dan, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, <laughs> Dan's goal in life is to make sure that uh, I stay humble and crush me in this game, which is going to occur, so stay tuned. What game, you might ask? Why, well, we're playing Ultra Combat Modern. We talked about this earlier. We would review the book. Uh, we very much like the uh, the layout and the look of the book. It's a fine quality uh, product made with quality materials. Oh. Now we're gonna get into who makes it. Oh, I'm sorry. That that would be made by our good friends over at Dish Dash Games. Uh, and uh, we look forward to uh, now actually doing a playthrough. Uh, in order to get a feel for how the game plays, uh, get our heads around the rules and whatnot. Uh, you know, uh, shout out to Colin for uh, some errata that he's done. Uh, you know, we had some questions about morale a couple weeks ago that uh, got sorted out and he published uh, some good errata, so thank you for that. Hopefully uh, I won't have to use it uh, because, uh, you know, Dan never hits me. Okay, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anywho, uh, as you heard, uh, basically uh, this is mission one from the book. So uh, the setting is the Ukraine. You know, this is uh, uh, Objective Utah, essentially. It's a little uh, section of a Ukrainian village. Uh, I will be playing the Russians. I have a five-man team. And uh, that their goal is to uh, uh, perform an ambush and then exit off the Russian side of the uh, table, uh, which this half is the Russian half, and they need to exit that way. Dan's playing the Americans and is uh, super stacked because he's got a full-on uh, infantry squad. He's got 11 dudes. Uh, this is his half of the table. The deployment zone per the mission is actually uh, along the edge. Uh, to speed play along a little bit, because it's just maneuver to get this far, uh, we've allowed uh, basically the road that's in the middle of the table to be uh, the edge of the deployment zone, so anything behind that. So uh, we've already got the, the table set up. My uh, Russian forces are in place uh, in their deployment zone. The American forces are in place on their side. So we are ready to start play. All right, so first things first, turn one. Draw your doctrine card, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Let me allow me to go ahead and do, 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 do. Gotta get our cards in order here. Let's see. Hmm. How do you play with the cards? So uh, it's like poker. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, so uh, the cards are meant to be uh, face down, not not exposed to your uh, uh, opponent. Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> it doesn't matter, as it turns out with this mission, uh, but are meant to be uh, uh, face down. You activate them one at a time. So I will, uh, I will choose a card, uh, which is an element. We're playing at the fire team level here. If you're keeping up with uh, the mission book, so each card represents an individual or a crew or a team. Uh, but mostly these are individuals. The only crews that we have are heavy weapons crews. It's one model that will represent uh, both people in that crew. So you, you pick up your card, uh, Dan and I will both select which person we wish to activate, and then we will drop them down. Now we will compare uh, according to the level of uh, experience uh, for each person. So you can either be uh, elite, veteran, average, or novice. In this case, we both have veterans. So because we have tied, we'll do a roll off with a d20. Survey says. I got a one. Is that an automatic success on this? I think it's only combat. Damn it! So I got a 15, which means um, I'm going to get to uh, move my guy first. So this card that I had pulled allows me to go uh, move my guy. He's got three actions. I chose my marksman. And uh, for each action, I can move six inches. So what I'm going to do is I am going to move my uh, marksman 18 inches. See, which one is he right there? In this case, I'm being careful to make sure I'm not in line of sight of the, uh, of the uh, building over here. This bunch of trees is blocking line of sight, so it's going to be very difficult for him to get line of sight, I believe. All right. 
and is your guy still moving, or is he... He's still on? moving. All Sorry, right, so we'll put a move token on him. That, that lets everyone know that this person's still moving. That'll become important uh, if there's any shooting on either side uh, involved. I, if I go to uh, attack mm -hmm. him, and I've, uh, I have to make a, a check to spot him, it's harder because uh, he's, or it's easier because he's moving. So I may, may be easier to spot him when it comes time to actually hit him, uh, shooting him, it becomes harder because it's harder to hit a moving target. Conversely, next go around, if he decides that he wants to come out of, come out of his, uh, uh, his turn shooting at me, because he's moving, it's harder for him to, to hit me. He gets penalized for trying to shoot on the move. Because again, that would be a harder skill, right? Makes sense. All right, so I'm finished with my guy. I've got the movement marker on him. It goes to you so you can move your veteran now. All right, so uh, this is for my uh, junior NCO. And uh, this guy is going to hide. And that's all he's going to do this turn. He's just going to hide. How many actions does it take to uh, hide? It takes three actions to hide, so that burns up all of his actions. Throw an activated token on there so I remember. And now we repeat the process with the next card. So let's see here. Um. All right. Okay, we both got both. average both uh, soldiers. So we gotta roll off again since we uh, got the equal type. Seven? 10. So I get to go first. Keeping my track record uh, firmly in place, but not rolling well. I'm gonna blame all this on the dice, just in case anyone isn't is unsure. That's my go-to. But I've got the dice to prove it, so why not? So this guy is also still in movement. Back past you. All right. Uh, my guy is gonna spend his three points and hide again. <laughs> Hey, next one. Veteran and an average. So you get to go first because you had the veteran. All right. And once again, my guy is going to stay in stealth mode. And he is merely going to spend his three action points to hide at this point. So essentially at this point, I'm just trying to sneak up on him and waiting to get shot. I have to uh, spot him before I can actually start shooting at him. And one of the ways that I could spot him is if he actually shoots me. So, somehow I gotta provoke him to shoot me before I can start doing something about it. <sighs> that me? Yeah, he's a move. So he says he needs to do something to provoke me to shoot him, but notice he hasn't. I do, but I want to <laughs> at least guarantee I get to shoot back when it happens. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's see here. Uh, no, all right. So you got a veteran, I have average, so you get to go first again. All right. So, he's line of sight on anything still. These trees are uh, uh, blocking line of sight. They're not just covered. This block actually, all of our pine trees will block line of sight is how we're playing. So, So I think my guy is going to make a move. Uh oh, someone's coming out of the building? To the rear. No, he's moving to the building. Oh, you got, I didn't realize you had guys out there. <laughs> oh, you hit him. Sneaky. Yeah, well, you know. He probably snuck him out there right before the game started. There's no sense. It's like, in yeah, all my guys are in the building, and then he moved him out there. I'm very, I'm very lucky I, I, uh, didn't set myself up for those two. There, there's no sense in painting them <coughs> camouflage if it's not going to work. It worked. I didn't see him. I thought you put them all in the building. Ah, give me that guy. Okay. 
All right, so we'll just go ahead and make sure that he's not pointing that right at his buddy's head. All right, now he is in the cover of the building, and that will do it for him. I'll do it for him. Here comes mine. Can you move through your uh, other models in this game? Yes. So you can move through your own guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it won't... Uh, Okay. So they're not in, they're not impassable. Okay. So he's going to remain um, moving. All right. Next. Is that all your guys? Not yet. Nope, this is the last got, one. I got one more. All right. Nope. He has average. I have veteran. So I get to go first. He gets to go first on this one. And that's uh, my number three. Let's see what I did. This guy right there. Okay. Let's return. All right, so my final guy, again, I only have five, so this is my last guy, is my saw gunner. <laughs> a lot of dudes in one corner there, my friend. He's going to move out. He's going to move out and take a shot. That's a, that's a definite maybe. Then he's going to stay out there and sit pretty for me to uh, mow him down. I can make a move. He can go up to six inches. I don't quite need to go that far. All right, whoop. there we go. He's going to step out, and uh, he's going to engage uh, these four uh, imperialist uh, bastards <laughs> with his saw. So it took one action to uh, move. Yep. So you got two actions left. So now... Right, because he only has three. He's not a heavy weapon, right? Uh, he is a machine gun. That's a saw gunner. So he's a light machine gun. So he has three activations. So, yeah. yeah, he's not a not a heavy guy. Where's my? Okay, there we go. All right. So. Okay, page on. Uh, Two oh six. I'm looking at the, uh, the the weapons table, or yeah, the weapons table and the quick reference sheets on page two oh six. All right, your guys are moving and they are in the open, uh, or I have line of sight on. Okay. So they're automatically spotted. I don't have to spend an action point for that. Okay. Very important. So now... Your, your guy is still moving right now too, right? Yep. Okay. So now, for the price of an action point here, I get to roll 3d20. D20. For one action point, for this light machine gun? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 fir my first burst, three round burst if you will, uh, okay. 3d20, and we will be aiming at uh, that whole herd. Okay. So let's see what we can do. All right, so. Now. Where's my saw guy at? You start with uh, so 12, right? I've got a, or, uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, his morale is shooting out of the same. All right, so I, I start with the 12. Now, What's the card we go to, like? We go to the uh, shooting modifiers page. How do we? I don't know if you can. Can you Let's zoom in? It, or hold on. Where's uh, one? Go to close up. Can you? Oh, it's pretty close. You can see it up there. Can you? Are we in there? Can you see that? I'm, I know there's Ooh, a little bit that's of a nice. glare. Oh, your. There you go. Your camera's moving on me there. Can you see that? All right, there you go. All right, so one of the skills that's identified on there is my shooting skill is twelve. So. So it's uh, minus because you're moving. You move. be yep, there's going to be a modifier because I'm moving. So there's a modifier because I'm the moving. The attacker is moving. That is uh, minus four. So eight, 12 minus four is eight. All right. The target is moving, which all those guys are. Mm -hmm. Is another minus four. So now you're at you need four or less. Yep. And let's see if there's anything else that uh, would modify that. Nope. All so, right. So you need four or less. And I have A4, so one hit out of that. I'll take it. All right. All right, so now 
uh, you can assign the, the one to whichever one you want, and then you roll on the status on the damage status table. Damage status table. Yes. Okay, I am going to. Uh, well, <clears throat> I can assign it because these guys are so close. Is that why, or? Um, yeah, because there's a whole clump of them, and there's a two inch <coughs> range on this because okay. it's a uh, burst weapon, so it's got an area of effect of two inches. Okay. But there's only one hit. Okay. And I don't care which one it is. I'm going to draw. Yeah, I gotta do. I gotta do the um, marksman. All right. So. You're going to roll a d20. Okay. The number of hits generated according to the weapon, which is one. Uh, they're all wearing body armor, so... Uh, Minus we'll, four. We'll reduce that by uh, the number the, rolled by four. Okay. A roll of uh, one... Uh, roll of one to hit is always combat and effective. Skip that. We already did that. All right. So for the damage uh, status, one through six will make you hesitant. Seven through 12 will cause you to be pinned. And 13 or higher will make you combat ineffective. Okay. Well, here's the roll, and I got a minus four from the die, right? Yep. So I roll the one, minus four is negative three. <laughs> so now... Does that mean I get to shoot back for free? No. Oh. However, <laughs> let us talk about... He's just so brave. 160. <laughs> just left it off. Reflected off his body armor. Yeah. It's like, ha! Huh, never take me. You scratched my uniform. All right, so... Uh, the rule of one, a roll of one is always the best possible result. A natural roll of one on a d20 is always a success regardless of skill level. On a spotting roll, a one is a critical success. Spotter gets their uh, uh, action point back. File well, that away for future reference. Action. The spotter gets if, the action po point back. Okay. Yep. If a uh, firearms or melee skill is being rolled and a natural one is rolled, this is an automatic combat ineffective result. Means Which, what? if I would have rolled a one when I was shooting you, is what that means, not him on damage status. If the heavy weapon crew rolls a, a natural one, instead of getting a single combat ineffective result, the crew will gain a combat effective result for all the soldiers in the crew's weapons radius. Woo! Woohoo! That could do some damage. All right, so. But does anything happen for me? I don't see anything that uh, in here on the rule of one that says that it would change. The result. So that yeah. would make you hesitant. Hesitant. So, hesitant. The level of fire is such that the soldier or crew has become hesitant. They drop prone and can only move three inches per action point, but can attack as normal. There is a minus four to all skills, including morale. Is shooting a skill? No. Yes. So it's minus four to shoot even though I'm prone? Yes. Because no. you're hesitant. Because you got shot at. Oh, I always felt safer when I was prone. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> you're only prone because you got shot at, though. So now you're you're scared. Well, However, in reality, I got hit, so I <laughs> freaking probably slam onto the ground due to the uh, momentum of that bullet, right? Yeah. Well, you know, body armor save, whatever there. Yeah. But you know, uh, that guy's already been activated. Yeah. So at the uh, beginning of the next turn, we will uh, roll to resolve all morale stuff. Okay. So based on that morale roll, potentially you could remove all of that. Okay. And then he would act as normal for his activation. So we'll have to see next turn how that turns out for him. Uh, he gets a hesitant marker. Which, I don't know which model uh, that's assigned to. Which one of these little dudes? Oh, that was him. I, I put it on this guy, this card. Right oh, you here. put it on the card. Okay, yeah, gotcha. So it's him. Though. All right. It's him. As long, as, long as, as long as we remember. Otherwise, I'll forget to do it during morale, and then okay. we'll all be upset. All right, so... He spent a, uh, an action point to move. He spent an action point to shoot. Now he's going to spend his last action point to not be in the open because that would be dumb. So he is going to start heading towards the door. Somebody cue Leonard Skinner, give me two steps. She give me two steps, give me two steps, mister. What kind of light is Two saw. Saw. Or light machine gun. He's rusting. What type? Is that a Russian? Oh, it is a suppression weapon. You are right. Hold on, because I forgot to even think about that. All right, so. Uh, I haven't encountered the suppression rule yet. Yeah. Which. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs>
Uh, da, da, da. Well, so now all, right, so all your I'm Russians could essentially start running now. What's that? Now your Russians could start running now. Yeah. Yeah. There's a pretty good chance that the, the he already is for sure. But there, but the, at this point, according to the mission, you could be trying to get off the board if you wanted. Yeah. Can't win if you do that right now, but. Yeah. All right, so morale and suppression markers. Yeah. Um, if a soldier misses the enemy, they place a morale marker or a suppression marker depending on the weapon use. All right, so that should be two suppression markers for the two misses that I had that go on to one or the other models there. Actually, I might be doing that wrong. I just thought about it because I do, do I have a, I have a two inch radius of effect on that. Okay. So I would say two inches from the guy that I hit, anything that was in there would get a suppression marker, yeah? I have no idea. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rules lawyers, anyone? Yeah. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> Huh? Uh, I think uh, I think I might have suppressed him, and and after we get done with this, I'm gonna argue that he gets both suppression markers on all of them. Yeah, he gets suppression. Two inch radius area of effect. All right. So which which one's your dude that got hit? Him. All right. So he is dude, prone. So I would say the dudes on either side of them both get a suppression marker as well. So okay, and then. All right, once a soldier has a morale or suppression marker, they must make a morale test during their next activation. If they're successful, they remove all morale and suppression markers that they've accumulated. Okay. And if not, then we go into a, a whole nother table. Uh, da -da. Suppression markers are weapon specific. Some weapons, like assault rifles, give a morale marker for each miss. Some weapons, like uh, machine guns and grenade launchers, give suppression markers when they miss. <coughs> Morale and suppression markers are generally placed on the fire team when it has received a fire from the enemy. These markers show the effect of the crew being under fire. Uh, da, da, da. Any crew, any soldier or crew that has a morale or suppression marker will, at the beginning of their next activation, as we talked about, uh, need to make a morale roll. If they're successful, all the markers are removed from the soldier or crew. A single morale marker uh, provides a negative one to the soldier's morale. A single suppression marker provides a negative six to the soldier's morale. Morale and suppression markers can stack up. A soldier may have uh, been fired on repeatedly before their uh, activation comes into effect. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> all right, so uh, that does it for me. That's all my guys. I put a movement uh, so, marker oh, on your Oh, thank guy. you. Yes, he's still moving. And... You can move your other 147 guys or whatever it is. I think you got a whole brigade back there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Move this guy six inches. And uh, he is going to fire at him through this opening. Okay. So... Uh, is that a regular rifle, man? Uh, no, that's my NCO. It's, but he's got a regular rifle, right? Yes. Okay. Doesn't have a, like a machine gun or a sniper rifle or anything. Like no. That. Okay. So, um, hmm, that is one so, D twenty to roll. Let's go ahead and look at the modifiers for that. We're both moving, so it's so minus eight. The spotting modifier. Spotting. You're running in the open. So, uh, and I you just in, shot. I am in cover. Oh, that's you, not. So you, that's not. Get, uh, I still get credit. That isn't line of sight cover. I because this block is not cover. So this isn't cover because it's clear. And with the, and touching bed distance, you, it's, it blocks line of sight. Oh, I have that backwards in my mind. That's what I'm thinking. If you're under cover, then you have to be up next next to it. All right, so it's a line of sight. Yeah. So All he's right. in the open then. Yeah. So uh, because I can see through here, right? I'm. I am moving, and is your guy moving Yes, he still? just, he's moving. All right. Plus, remember, well, there, you get a plus six, and for your spotting, because he fired a suppression weapon. Fired a suppr yep. yeah, suppression plus weapon, six. but he's also yeah. in the open and he, moving. You automatically see him. Yeah, so I automatically see him. Yeah, because what's your spotting skill? Um, I don't know. It's the eyeball. Oh, 18. 
plus six, you're over twenty. So the only, the only thing you could roll is but, a twenty. But he he still has he still has to roll, yeah, because if he if rolls you get a, a twenty, 20 it's, it's an automatic failure. failure. Yeah. So you just have to roll for. But it's automatic because he's in the open and moving. But you still, you still have, have to roll still have to 20. roll to see if you hit him. To shoot him. He's got a line of sight. You don't have to roll the spot. Right. So, I've got... Uh, yeah, you're right. No, nope, you're right. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, I don't have to spot. I can if I want, um, because he only has to use one. So, he's going well, to... Hold on a minute. While he's in the open, you still are going through trees. So, you still have a possibility not seeing him. So, you do have to make the roll. If you roll a 20, you don't see him. Anything else is going to be success. So the rules for the uh, trees are templates? Yeah. Line so of sight. The, Well, line of sight, if you look through here, he's in the wide well, open. Well, we said that those are forests. So well, maybe. we declared before that these block line of sight, and that you could use regular line of sight through these. Yeah, that's what we were playing. Okay, well, if that's so, what you guys agreed on, then yeah. that's what we go with. Oh, go ahead and shoot at my guy. Come on. Let's well, do this. I want to go still first. So oh, oh. he is not moving. All right. So. And, so he moved. Not He goes firm. And now he's uh, shooting. Oh. So it's only a minus four because you're moving. Right? Yep. So that means I need a 10 or less. <laughs> <laughs> 20. <laughs> yes. Oh, Finally, the man. dice god smile upon me. <laughs> Rolled the wrong dice, apparently. Yeah, yeah you but, uh, have that removed. What's what's this end for? <laughs> All right. Oh, a magazine. Oh, I should have put that in there. All, All right. right. So now I did still get shot at. So, but it was a miss. Not a suppression weapon though, so no. I don't have I don't have to go through the whole. Correct. Uh, if it's not a suppression weapon, then it doesn't apply. All right. Good job, little buddy. <laughs> he is not going to do that six more times, just for the record. Okay. Or five more, however many dudes you got left. <laughs> yeah, I got five. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to take a uh, my heavy weapon, which is a guy with six. Whoa. I don't know if I can get there. Six inches to there, no. Darn. Um, oh no. What's that? Can't go far enough. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Or, if I get to here. Poor little feller. Can't tell. Can you see? Can, can you see? Mm, no. No? He can get to there, because he can get to. He can get to. I can see the end of the tape now. So I, I can get to him, right? So I would. I would think so. I mean, Bill, you got the laser on him. What did? He yeah. can get to wherever Bill's laser is. Can you come out a little bit more? That's oh yeah. Good, if, you can, yeah if you can go yeah. that far, I can I can see yeah, you're good. almost all your dude right now. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, heavy heavy weapon. So that's two D or three D twenty. Right. He starts with a twelve. You moved, I moved, it drops down to a four. <laughs> yep. Right, because we both move minus four for is, each. Is he still moving? You're not <laughs> going to stop him? No, because he only got. He takes three activations to fire, and he only has four. Oh yes, yeah. So he, has he three moved AT points to fire because he's got the big machine. He's gun, got right? that. Yeah, he's got the uh, the, the MG. Yeah, the two. Yeah, the two forty. Two forty G was such a fun gun, gun to put to shoot. <laughs> it's so easy to replace that barrel too. <laughs> I mean. If you, if you got to right replace off. the M60 with something, that was a good call. Yeah, it was a good call. Yeah, that was a nice machine gun. All right, you ready? Yep. Three fours. I got one. One. Oh, murder! And, and this is a suppression. It's got an area of uh, four radius, so. Yeah, well, you, you hit him, and there's nothing else to. Yeah, yeah. That but you can uh, hit, so. we got to worry about suppression. All right, so. 
Now, damage status. Oh, the range is only 600 inches. I, I, we should measure that out. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> 600 inches. Yeah. Just in case we were doing shooting from the driveway. Yeah, right. All right, so um, let's see. I got to roll my, uh, my D20. You do have armor, so, so you get a minus four to the roll, right? Yep. And... Uh, the element counts as crew off. That's it. So I take my minus four. Survey says 14, 14. makes it a 10, which is good. That's good. 14, 14 would have made me combat ineffective, would have essentially killed my guy. Okay. 10 makes me pinned. So let's find a, a pinned marker. We do that. I don't think you can be moving and pinned at the same time, so I'll take that up. All right, pin. The level of fire is such that the soldier or crew has been force prone and can do nothing. At the beginning of their next activation, the soldier needs to make a successful morale roll. If the enemy is within four inches, then the soldier surrenders. That would be bad. Because that's one of the things I, you know, in my, in my mission set, I'm, I'm not supposed to get killed or captured. Uh, the soldier or crew uh, is unable to act while pinned and minus six to morale. So minus, when, at the beginning of the next turn, when I have to make a morale check on him, minus six to my roll. Okay. All right. And here's where we're going to find out that uh, morale markers stack, because he still has more guys. So if he's able to successfully engage me, I'll get more. Oh, this is 14. 14 is way over there. I mean, right now, six inches would take him outside of the other guy. Just to the other side? Yeah. So well, he, you'll have, yeah, you'll have line of sight to him. There we go. So my saw is now uh, ripping loose. This is also a fun machine gun to fire, too. Yeah. Um, I was glad that I didn't typically have to carry it, but uh, it was fun to shoot it. <laughs> yeah, and back in the day when they had the adjustable... Uh, uh, gas regulator. Yeah. You could crank that bad boy up. Make it go faster. Mm. Alright, so because I'm pinned, I've been forced prone. So, if okay. I am prone... So I'm going to stop moving. Uh, so that the other guy is moving. Hold on. So it is minus four to the shooting roll here. Because you're prone? Yeah. Alright, so it's minus eight. Total for your situation. No, you're not moving anymore. It's just minus four because you're prone. Right. So it's only minus four, which means I need tens. No. Where's my, there it is. I need uh, eights. All right. Okay, and that's the light machine gun, auto rifle. Do you get, uh, what do you get on that, two or three? It, uh, well, three, that's not the light machine gun, right? It's a saw, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, it's, it's their 3D? country's LMG. Yeah, 3D20. 3D20. I need eights. Eights or less. Here we go. Come on, 20. <sighs> yes! No 20s, but uh, lowest was a 10, so I didn't quite make it. <sighs> Weak Woo. sauce. Yes. <laughs> All right. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna hit this. Well, and, and on that happy note, uh, you still have more dudes, and I'm still just stuck out here in the, in the open pinned. I mean, thank goodness I could go prone. Well, let's see what happens with the grenade launcher. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what is the grenade launcher going to do for me? Is it going to take away the, uh, the prone? Uh, no, but he, so what you can do... Because I'm just do, choosing a spot, right? I'm not choosing him as a target. Yeah, choose him as a target. If you, if you, can, if you got line of sight to him, you make him the target, and then uh, if you... Uh, then we look at the divergent uh, table to see if you hit him or not. Okay. So... I'm going to bring this guy over to here, and uh, he's going to shoot that uh, grenade launcher. All right, so he, he does have line of sight, so let, let us go to grenade launcher. I just want to see what happens. I haven't fired one yet. Yeah, right? And you only got two shots with it, right, for the mission? Yeah, you only get uh, two rounds, so this will be your, your first one there. And where right. is... I definitely didn't volunteer to carry that ammunition. <laughs> All right, so. Because I start with, no, no, I start with a 14. I say, I so don't. it's 10s. I need 10s. There you go. No! Oh, another 20 and a 14. I totally whiff. Does that do something I'm, to I'm, you still? I'm telling you. You still in the blast radius to get su suppression for the kill zone? Uh, <laughs> I would, I believe, still be uh, suppressed. 
Which okay, but you were suppressed last time, right? Yeah. So you got two suppressions now? Or is it only one? It would only be one because the 20 would be like it went way over your head and not even in the same ballpark. Yeah. You're, you're not even the same zip code, brother. But the 14. But the 14 would give you one. Yeah. And now you fired two rounds? No, I fired I fired once, he but it's two dice. But I I hit him kill, last round and knocked oh, him down, so he had suppression from last round. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't I did not put the one from last round down there, so All right. So I got a number seven and a number three left. So I gotta try to get in there. I gotta, gotta hurt this dude. Uh he's still moving. No? He stopped. This is only one for like, this guy, though. Six inches. He's going to move way out here. And I'm just trying to sneak in as many shots as I can. And uh, so that's number seven. Uh, it's only one shot because it's a uh, assault rifle. All right. And uh, so 1D20. 1D20. He starts at uh, 14 minus your four. I need a 10. On 20. <laughs> oh. All right, I got him. Let's see if we can make him stop moving. All it's, right. It's kind of like that uh, that uh, Unforgiven when they're going after that cowboy. He's wiggling on the ground. We just got to put an extra one in to him and make him stop. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> All right. So now I will roll on the status damage, status damage table. All right. With minus four because you got uh, body armor on. So. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking because he's pinned, do I get the No, it's just to morale. Minus six to morale. So alright. Alright, so survey says. Fifteen. Fifteen, that makes an eleven. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Again, thirteen is combat ineffective, which would make him dead. Uh, but twelve or less makes him pinned. He's already pinned, so Okay. And then uh, number three, my last guy. I mean, he's hanging tough. Now, this, this dude's probably shell-shocked. Let's, let's be real. He's got some problems, yeah. yeah. I think he's, uh, um, I think he'd be crapping, you know, in reality, he'd be pretty scared right now. Yeah, right? And, he, and he's been hit twice. Yeah. All right, so same thing. In this case, it's uh, 14 minus 4, I need a 10. Nine. Oh! Don't! So go ahead and roll. Come on. Come on, roll 20. Come on, I've been rolling one, 20s. One, your turn. One, your turn. Your turn. One. Oh! One! <laughs> <laughs> Successfully dodged that. All right. Uh, now, uh, I, he's still... Well, he... So he is now pinned, suppressed, and hesitate. <laughs> and this is why you remove all the morale markers <laughs> at the beginning of the next turn after you roll. Because... You know, they, as they say, they can stack, you know, because these are all separate attacks, separate events that happen to them, so they all have a cumulative effect, but, whew, thank God I can get rid of that stuff at the beginning of my next turn, because that's, I mean, he's going to start taking cover behind this pile pretty soon. <laughs> all right, so that's it for this turn, then. Oh, is that your last guy? Yeah, that's my last guy. All right, cool, cool. I thought you had one more. No. I mean, you... You could have just activated another dude. I wouldn't have noticed you got something. <laughs> well, there's one one thing I feel it's important about uh, gaming with friends is is remaining honest, so uh, they continue to trust you. So when you need it, you then, can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're you're not gonna need it. You have superior firepower. No, I'm just kidding. Like you're uh, you're gonna do all right. That's that's just my opinion on how that's gonna go.